emergency crews on scene of a scrapyard fire in Stouffville. This again is a live look from Chopper 24. Kim Woolley's on the ground. He joins us now with the very latest cam. Good morning, Lindsay. Well, this fire continues to burn, and really that's the strategy that Wichert Stouffville Fire Service is dealing with. The fire is at the premises of uh, Don Mill Steel and Metal. It's a recycling uh, and metal processing company. They've been here over 40 years. Wichert Stouffville Fire Service is in charge. Uh, they've called in uh, mutual aid from all the surrounding areas because there's uh, no hydrants out here, Lindsay. It's just rural. I just spoke a few minutes ago with Rob McKenzie. He's the chief of uh, Wichert Stouffville Fire. Here's what you had to say about the call. Fire crews responded about 1.10 uh, this morning to a scrap pile on fire. Uh, found it to be a large scrap pile. It's about 100 by 100 feet and uh, involved is, uh, you know, household metals such as uh, furnace, furnaces and stoves and uh, fridges and whatnot. So it's just a big pile of uh, scrap metal that's on fire. Now, it's uh, uh, fire is quite toxic. Uh, Jeff Long tells me a bit of a breeze higher up in the chopper there. Uh, so that's why one of the reasons Woodbine Avenue is closed. They want to be sure that uh, if the wind uh, turns that uh, nobody's in any danger. There have been no evacuations. And as we told you from the top, there's no hydrants. So they're using Woodbine to ferry water and tankers up and down from uh, Stovall Road to deal with this. The plan is to let it burn out somewhat. Then they've got an operator standing by. They're going to move the pile around and try and uh, expose the flames. And then they'll put water on it after that. They also have crews standing by to deal with the toxic runoff. Back to you. All right, Kim Willie, live on scene. Thanks for the update.